In this video, we will discuss Horner syndrome, its clinical features, the pathway of the descending sympathetic fibers, and the reason for a different clinical features of the Horner syndrome. So, what's the cause of Horner syndrome? Damage to the descending sympathetic fibers causes Horner syndrome. Where the damage in descending sympathetic fibers occur? The damage occurs anywhere in the path. What's the path of the descending sympathetic fibers? From the hypothalamus the descending sympathetic fiber pass through the brain stem in the pons and medulla to the spinal cord shown in the red here these are the first order neurons and they relay in the spinal cord the second order neuron from the spinal cord go to the sympathetic trunk and then from the superior cervical ganglion the third order neurons arise and they supply different structures and muscles like sweat glands dilator pupillae muscle and muscles of the eyelid so what are the features features of Horner syndrome. The features are ipsilateral because they travel on the same side and these features are meiosis, anhydrosis, ptosis, loss of ciliospinal reflex and anophthalma. Why it causes meiosis? Because the descending sympathetic fibers after relaying in the cervical ganglia supply the dilator pupillary muscle. Interruption of these fibers causes pupillary constriction. Meiosis leads to anisocoria, unequal pupil in the why because the affected eye pupil is constricted whereas the other pupil is normal why there is ptosis in the horner syndrome two muscles elevate the upper eyelid levator palpebris superioris is supplied by the oculomotor nerve it is not involved in this case other muscle that elevates the upper eyelid is superior tarsal muscle supplied by the descending sympathetic fibers interruption of the descending sympathetic fiber causes ptosis due to paralysis of the superior tarsal muscle or the Muller muscle. Why there is anhydrosis in Horner syndrome? Because the sympathetic fibers supplied the sweat glands of the head and face ipsilaterally. What neurochemical is released at the postganglionic sympathetic ganglia of the sweat gland? Normally at postganglionic sympathetic junctions, noradrenaline is released. But at the sweat glands, acetylcholine is released. Acetylcholine is also released on all preganglionic sympathetic and parasympathetic ganglia and it is also released at the postganglionic parasympathetic junctions when does congenital horner syndrome occur head trauma during labor may cause congenital horner syndrome and the parents complain that the child develops flushing hemi face there is hypochromic heterochromia in these children due to ganglionic dysgenesis what are the causes of horner syndrome infarction trauma tumor, infection, aneurysm and demyelinating diseases in the path of the descending sympathetic fibers can cause Horner syndrome. In the brain, most common cause of the Horner syndrome is the lateral medullary syndrome and in the chest apical lung tumor, the pencos tumor can also interrupt its fiber and cause Horner syndrome. What are the iatrogenic causes of Horner syndrome? Jugular cannulation, chest tube, chest surgery and surgery in the neck may cause Horner syndrome.